Loving me is war. Alright, guys. So, we're actually gonna play Boyfriend Dungeon. I just wanted to play something ridiculous. I know it's an RPG. I hope it doesn't take that long to finish this game. Um, I want something rather quick and actually just fun to play. But if it takes long, I might play over time. So, this is a game where you date your weapons. So, that would be awesome to see. Let's go. <laughs> this game's story involves exposure to unwanted advances, stalking, and other forms of emotional manipulation. Play with care and take breaks as needed. Interesting. I get to name myself? Yeah. Lola. He him. I'm a he him. My eyes. <laughs> wow. I like the smiling eyes. My original design for my character was smiling eyes. Uh. I I'll keep it default. Whoa. Interesting. Long hair. Spiky. Wavy. I don't know what I want. So I might go with... Maybe long? Even maybe bun. I don't know what bun. Make it red. Yeah, let's go. This is my character. This is... Lola Nako, I wish there was orange skin, but I can't pick it. I like this song. I don't know why. Don't think I'm weird. Are you ready to begin? Yep. Oh, I can change my character at any time. That's cool. This game sometimes sends you supportive text messages from a character named Mom. Is that okay? If your answer is no, we will disable these messages. Yeah. Send me messages from my mom. Let's go. Final boarding call for Verona Beach. All passengers, please board immediately. So what I'm, I'm seeing already from the be very beginning of this game. Is that there's a lot of awesome audio on this. Even the visuals are pretty cool. I don't see how this is a hey, dungeon crawler type of game. Hey, welcome to Beach, cuz. It's me, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. It's been a long 10 years, huh? Your mom said you'd grown up, but I had no idea. You're so much taller. Thanks. Are you hitting on me? And who are you again? Are you hitting on me, Jesse? Nope. I'm your cousin. Come on. I've got to believe I'm better than that. I don't know. Some people like dating their cousins. Last time I saw you, let's see. It was a while ago. It was. I don't even remember you. I was in college, and you were like in the fifth grade or something. Holy smokes. Right before California. You're old. Doesn't matter. Come on. I'll show you your room for the summer. He doesn't look that old, but he's really old. If he was in college already when I was five? Well, actually, I don't know how old my character is. He leads you upstairs. Oh, you're not you're not talking anymore. You can stay here till my lease runs out in September. I moved out to live with my partner last month, so you get free rent. That's awesome. Mm. Plus, we'll have the whole summer to solve your little problem. What problem? Excuse me. Your mom said you hadn't gone on a date. Like, not in your whole life. It's not a big deal, but I'll do what I can to help you. It'll be a summer of love. <laughs> or, if you prefer, a summer of totally platonic, friendly hangouts. Those are good, too. I'm not a pickup artist, but pretty sure I can teach you something about meeting people. 
as long as you're willing to be a little adventurous, you got to you come to the right place. I'm feeling adventurous. Verona Beach is the p town for lovers, so it's best to keep your eyes and mind open. I won't guarantee you'll fall in love, but a date shouldn't be too hard to arrange. So what do you think your main problem in love is? Nobody appreciates me. I'm cursed. I'm ugly. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just ugly. <laughs> oh, nope. Wrong go. You're a cutie, cuz. But you might need higher self-esteem. The first step in love is finding someone with similar interests and talking to them. Uh huh. So let's get you some confidence. There's a new fitness fad in Verona, perfect for meeting people and facing your fears. You have to have an open mind though, you ready? It's dungeons. Okay. Uh, uh not sex dungeons. Though I guess there are some parallels. Never mind. Don't think about that. You know, dungeons from like video games or D&D &D, like that, but in real life. There's been more monster infestations lately so people kill them for money it's great for building confidence and also getting a workout plus wait uh hey i wanted to ask you can you turn into a weapon i can try or maybe can you i can try you squeeze your eyes shut and Im imagine turning into a sword long and sharp you open your eyes to see if it worked Nope, your hands are still there. Same old you. Aw, oh. uh, don't look so sad, cuz. You can't do it, right? Me neither. Guess it doesn't run in the family. Transforming big in Verona Beach. Around here, people like us are called wielders. At least around the weapon folks, you'll do great. Especially after you get a combat lesson from a sword friend of mine. I arranged one for this afternoon. You feel your heart start to thump heavily, meeting someone already? Jesse's eyes widen and he shakes his head. Uh... Stop, take a deep breath. It's not a date, it's a lesson. He's a bit of a straight edge anyways. Remember, wielding isn't romantic. Perfectly platonic friends can wield each other, okay? The important thing is that you're stronger together. So whenever you're ready, get out there and go to the mall. Why the mall? The mall has monsters? Let's say, let's say that. Hmm. Apparently, something to do with common fears. I don't really know. Ask Isaac. Who's Isaac? He'll be waiting inside. He's a fencing teacher and a perfect professional. And in the meantime, I'll set you up on a proper date. Anyways, oh, always check your text messages. Jesse goes to leave, then pauses. Ah, ah! I forgot to give you a little tour of the apartment, but this is sort of all there is. All yours. I have ideas on how you could use the shelves and desk, but we can talk about that after you settled in. Feel free to use the mirror anytime if you want to try some new looks. No pressure. See ya. See ya, cuz. Jesse leaves. Let's go to the mall, I guess. My phone. I got a message already. Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Now you have my number. Hey, it's Jesse. Now you have my number. Don't forget to meet Isaac at the mall. Also, I just saw on the news that there's a weapon thief out there. Weapon people are going missing. Stay safe. I'm not a weapon person, so I'm safe. I'm safe. I got inventory. None. An empty bag. T-shirt and dragons galore zine. Throws a fireball. Some spicy stuff. Gifts. No gifts. Weapon info. No weapon info. Crafting table. Currently unavailable. Zines. This is a... Uh, oh, I get to switch my stuff. A mini dress. Another mini dress. A striped sweater. Mini dress, striped sweater. I'm going to go with this one. That's awesome. What's this? I can wear a hat. What? A headscarf. A turban. 
Nah, I'm gonna go with nothing on my head. Gotta gotta look beautiful with my hair. All right, let's go. Let's go to the mall, right? This game is so nice. Oh! I could just go home. Wow. Okay, hold on. Wow. Is this a 3D or 2D game? This is 3D, right? Be careful. It's dangerous. Verona Mall. Dunge. Wait, Dunge. Meaning it's a dungeon, right? This is so interesting. Verona Mall. Wow. Where am I going? Yeah, okay, I guess I'm going this way. I like it better over here. A weapon? Boyfriend dungeon! You find a long, thin blade. The hilt fits nicely into your grip. A man's voice vibrates from the metal and up through your hand, making you jump. You must be Jesse's friend. Hi, I'm Isaac. Isaac, Indeed. the sword. Though I don't require the sword, Appellate. Much as you likely aren't the man. <laughs> At least I'd hope you don't call me the man when I'm in my human form. I guess not. Yeah, true. But I'm indeed in a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. Okay. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Okay, okay, I, I get you. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. I guess that's true. As long as it's as actually just your hand and nothing else. I hope the hilt is nothing under the belt. <laughs> now, if you take a look around, you'll see we're in a mall. I do see that. And this mall looks like a dungeon. A dungeon is a place you can confront your insecurities. Interesting. Here, your own psychology will create monsters to fight. I chose the mall because most people have fears that easily manifest here. I'm gonna say I'm not afraid. <laughs> he Everyone's just afraid of something. All right. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's see if we can find any monsters to fight. All right. Boyfriend dungeon. You can test out some basic attacks with light attack and heavy attack. This is cool. Okay, okay. Verona Beach is a big city. It can be dangerous. Oh, there's a monster. Let's see. What is it? What was that? Hmm? Nicely done. Your form is rough, but you have strong potential. You're not bad either. <laughs> After 20 years of practice, I better have something to show for it. Now let's talk about that monster. It came from inside your mind. When I first started going to the dungeon as a wielder, I fought a lot of trucks. Trucks? Yes, trucks. Strange as it is, I don't even hate trucks. And yet, they manifested. There were monsters, pickup trucks, dump trucks, cement, even cement grinders. It's because I had some issues around masculinity and boyhood, probably from my father. Okay. Eventually, I worked through that and killed a boss monster truck. It felt good. My point is that your phone monster could mean a few things. Ah, is that why it asked me at the beginning of the game about getting text messages from mom? Maybe you fear connections to other people and intimacy. Mm -hmm. Maybe you fear helplessness, crawling like a worm, the way it did. We'll find it out the deeper we explore into the dungeon. All right, let's see, how deep does it go? What if we die? We'll just go as deep as we can today. If we get too tired and collapse, it's okay. We'll still get to keep any treasure we find. Mm -hmm. To avoid fainting, look for beverages, tea, coffee, that sort of thing. Keeps your spirits up. You can hold up to three at a time and use them when you need them. One last observation. You can use the power of zines, uh, zines in combat. Really? Press the zine button to use your dragon zine and 
Brief fire. Where's the zine button? Oh, RB. Maybe later you can find a new zine or even make your own. Be sure to not always rely on them, though, as their use is limited. So be brave, and let's fight as best we can. Together, we can overcome anything. All right. I found strong but flexible wire. And moolah. Watch out. Watch out for pickpockets. Okay. All right, I got damaged a bit. I forget I could dodge. Hmm, what's that? Sugar? I just spit all over my keyboard. Really? Wait. The hilt is cool. Almost cool, cold to the touch, but it quickly warms under your hand. The blade begins to transform. Who is this? I love this animation. Whoa. Oh. Well, hello, you two. Name's Sunder. Hello, Sunder. Isaac Brooks. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no? Yeah, yeah that's strange, right? To be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Really? The last thing I remember is someone in a cloak, chanting. Hmm. And now I'm all dinged up. I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and chipped me, whoever they are. Makes sense. But my luck is turning around because here you are. He's blushing. He's blushing! I didn't think anyone like you would be in the dunge. Who, yeah, me? you. I'm not talking to the monsters, that's for sure. There but... were other options. Oh, if you're into it. Maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? Um, are you more sword or man? Don't hold your breath, sure. <laughs> I want to ask this one. Are you more sword or man? Mm, both. Don't tell me you're obsessed with body binaries. Body binaries? Turns out there's very few mutual exclusivities out there in the world. Really? So there's uh, some people who are just sword and some people who are just man? If we fight together, I'll protect you. All in, no matter the shape of this body. Sweet. Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. That would be good for you, right? <laughs> I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? Are you hurt? Any guesses who did it? I'm glad you're okay. Let me ask him if he's hurt. A little, but my pride more than anything. I'm sure Isaac can explain. Yeah. Now I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. Here's my number. Thanks. I'll text you. Thank you. That was interesting. The damaged blade saunters away, seeming almost to dance. Hmm. He was knocked out, damaged, and imprisoned here. Weapon forms heal quickly, as they are made from our spirits more than our bodies. Still, this is serious. I'll report our findings to the authorities. I hope the abductor can be caught. Yeah. Let's keep our eye out for any other victims as we explore the dunge. Will do. Oh, holy smoke! I was gonna defeat that. That was completely unexpected. Wow. Love maxed. 
Wait for a date invitation from Isaac to Escott. S. Talk. Oh. Interesting. You feel the paramedics gently bring you to the surface and back to consciousness. You're bone tired, but otherwise unharmed. You realize you're still holding a sword. And that concludes our first lesson. Would you mind releasing me? Sure, sorry, let go. Do I have to? I'm afraid so. Until our next lesson, anyhow. Okay. The blade begins to transform. Fancy. You transform Truly. with a book and wine? Enchanté. <laughs> Enchanté. It was a pleasure to train with you. Thank you. But I must get back to work. If I may say, your fencing style is rough, but has unusual potential. Thanks. If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. We still have no leads on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. So feel free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. Will do, Isaac. Until next time, then. Until next time. With a small bow, he strides away. Dear Lola, I am available for lessons. Did you make it to the dungeon? Oh, Mom. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I already miss you. Verona Beach is a big city. It can be dangerous. Always listen to your cousin Jesse and watch out for pit pockets. Are you okay? Did you find the apartment? My wallet was stolen. It wasn't stolen. I'm fine, Mom. Oh, good. Don't want to worry, Mom. Stay on guard, okay? I love you, sweetie. I love my mom. I love you, too. Be good. I will, Mom. Isaac. Dear Lola, I am available for lessons. I'll provide equipment at my office. Brooks Association Associates. If you wish, sincerely, Isaac. It's not a letter. What? Let's train. Looking forward to it. Did you make it to the dungeon? Report in, soldier. Mission complete, sir. You didn't tell me he was hot. I met the sword man. <laughs> I'm going to write that. <laughs> so how did it go? Okay, don't answer that. Let's talk in person. Okay. I met the sword man. I got another message? From who? Where? Where? I'll be right over. Jeez, you're quick. A few minutes hey, later. I heard you uh picked up Isaac. And he says you're a natural. He was kind. He was a good teacher. We found another sword, too. Whoa, two swords in one day. What are the odds? Anyway, I'm glad it worked out. Isaac says you might be afraid of technology or change. Either way, I trust you'll work on it together. Even if you're not into him, it's good practice being normal. Alone with a handsome stranger. <laughs> in case, you know, you might get nervous at all. You might get nervous at all about the idea of dating. It was a good idea. I'm not nervous. As you open your mouth to speak, your tongue feels dry as a desert. You fall silent. Uh. Nerves are, the, are that bad, huh? At least you gained a bit of confidence. Well, lucky you, I went to high school with a guy that runs a sword shop and he's single. At least that's what Eric's online profile says. I haven't seen him in person in years. He might be the only guy in town who knows more about swords than Isaac, but I got his number. Jesse poke, pokes his phone. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. there we go. He's free for coffee tomorrow. Are you in? Let's do it. Do I have to? What's he look like? I'll go, but not as a date. I guess let's do it. <laughs> That's the spirit. It's mostly a practice day anyways. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., he'll be at Kicks, the cafe just down the street. Remember, it's just coffee. Talk about dungeons, get to know him. This summer won't last forever, and you gotta meet new people sometime. So let's roleplay. As some practice, I'll be Eric. No pressure, just try it out. Okay, you've just entered the cafe. I'm Eric, and I'm sitting here waiting for you. What do you say? Hi. Date time, let's kiss. Whoa. 
Really? That's what you're going with? Wow. Next time, try something like hello or I'm Lola. <laughs> this might be more work than I thought, but that's okay. You'll be fine. Practice makes perfect. See ya. Good luck tomorrow, cuz. Jesse leaves. You have a few extra hours. How will you spend the evening? Investigate the cafe? Browse the internet? Go for a walk. Huh. I want to actually investigate the cafe. You head downstairs and immediately find kicks. It's just on the corner. You go outside. It looks open and mostly Welcome empty. Welcome to kicks. Welcome to kicks. The barista. I want to buy a pastry. Sure thing. One chocolate croissant coming right up. Thank you, barista. While you eat your pastry, you look around. It feels cozy and well lit, but there's only one exit. You make a mental note to sit close to the escape route just in case. You head home and go to bed feeling better prepared. You wake up paralyzed with deep, inexplicable fear. Today will be your first date for the rest of your life. What if you're not even sure what you're afraid of, but it feels like you can't take a breath? Count to 10 or distract yourself. Distract yourself. You play a game on your phone for a few minutes. Eventually, you feel a bit better. You get up, walk down, and walk down to the coffee shop. Oh, welcome back to kids. Thanks. Give me a moment, guys. All right, sorry about that. Oh, welcome back to Kicks. Your scouting last night makes you feel a bit more at ease. Hmm. I think the man in the corner is waiting for you. You look around and see someone waving hey, at you. You're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. Hey, Eric. You got an anvil pin. Do you now look tell like me everything you know about swords? Do you prefer one or two-handed? Um. I don't know, one-handed? I sometimes like the speed of one-handed weapons, but it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. Okay. He waggles his eyebrows playfully. Jesse said you're a dungeon crawling type, so I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon. I already found one. A weapon person? Can you become a weapon? Nah, that's not really for me. Totally cool if you're into it. Okay. Interesting. But my shop sells only pure steel. Some imported, some made on site. Maybe I could give you a discount to a give a discount to a fellow enthusiast who'd give my blades a good home. Hmm. You seem like the kind of man who appreciates fine craftsmanship. Thanks, I am. So you're a smith. I am. As a smith, I have an eye for it too. I take raw, dirty hunks of metal and with finesse and strength, turn them into art. Well, I try anyways, I'm still learning. Video tutorials can only teach you so much, you know. Maybe someday I'll make something beautiful enough for you to wield. Was he, was he blushing? I, I missed it if he was. For now, here's a gift for a fellow craftsman. Maybe you can do something with these. Modern Miracle Plastic. And bracelet recipes. You think you could make something out of this stuff? I guess I can. I got a crafting bench at home. Anyways, I should be getting back to the shop. Want to go on a proper date sometime? Maybe I need more frivolity in my life. I'll think about it. I'd enjoy that. I'll think about mm -hmm. it. Excellent. If you need a weapon, maybe I'll see you again soon anyway. Ciao. Eric leaves. You head home. You did it. You went on a date, sort of. How'd it go? Heart, heart. <laughs> Poop emoji. <laughs> heart star heart. Uh, I don't want to be mean, but I... Yeah, that. Sure. Wait, really? I mean, I'm happy for you, but you still have most of the summer left. Meet more people before you propose. 
you're now definitely more date experienced than you were yesterday. Plus, I'll find you another date venture soon. I want to date weapons. What about Isaac? What about Eric? I want to date weapons. <laughs> I see what I can do. I promised your mom I would help after all. So I'm going to find you someone nice. Chill and dunge for now. Or use the crafting table I left in the apartment. You can get... Craft supplies, clothes, and other stuff from shops around town, too. I'll let you know when your date next date is set up. Cool? You like dancing? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't really dance in real life. Yes! Come to my club, La Rosa. VIP. I'll be there. Okay, cool. Me, too. Just tell the bouncer you're with me. How you get my phone number? Did I give you my phone number? I don't recall giving you my phone number. Inventory. All right, all right. Uh, crafting table. What can I craft? Bracelet recipe? That's the only recipe I have, so bracelet recipe. Wow, okay. Wait for a gift opportunity. Give it to someone special. Yay! The zines. Throws a fireball. Alright fam, that was the first episode of Boyfriend Dungeon. As you can see, I'm taking a small break from editing my videos. So, be sure to catch this series. It's gonna be very fun. Please enjoy. Bye-bye.